Some stories are not what you think they are. You come in with a certain set of beliefs, and the beautiful thing about life is that people surprise you. Ted and Susan Wachtel founded CSF Bucksmont, an alternative treatment program, over 30 years ago. Is there any kids or situations that need support or? Our alternative school has a staff meeting every day where we discuss the kids. Do you want to talk about Deanna? I heard, Deanna, why are you texting in class? And then I'm, I, wait, she's not allowed to have a phone. So I went in and she stormed out and had a meltdown. And but yeah, she did, she relapsed this, this weekend. Oh, man. So where did she start to get off track? All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Kids are using today to fill all different levels of needs in treatment with Deanna. And we have to try to figure out what that void is. I don't want to put you in a spot where you're we work with probation. When there can be that communication with school staff, that handoff is so, so important. Well, the probation officer is trusting in us to make decisions based on what we feel, if she's workable. Look, she brought this up to us okay. herself, that she's workable. Cool. Thanks. Sounds like a plan. I'm a recovering addict myself, and I, I believe everyone's capable of growing and changing. We had kids come through our programs four and five times. Wow. Because we know. I never give up hope. We use a process called the restorative questions, where they examine what happened, what were they thinking, who was affected. It helps them to dig deep into what really happened. I found a bottle of Valium and I took the pill. This needs to be a deeper understanding. Why did I do what I did? I don't know. I just cause a scene just so people will talk to me. Do you think that she created the drama just to get attention? She's saying, I'm bored with myself, I'm bored with my life. She's giving chance after chance after chance. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not asking open-ended questions. Okay. And I'm sorry about That's that. Okay. We're still early in treatment with Deanna, but um, there's obviously a need there. Maybe I'm not the person to do this video because in my experience, if she were black, she would have been serving time. What do you think the underlying unmet need is? That's something that she still needs to figure out for herself. She's getting all these resources poured into her, but she's not self-reflective to tell the adults around her what her real need is. She was saying, like, I was doing this to get attention. Were we giving her more attention? I actually don't think that it was rewarding her because she does not like to be center of attention uh -huh. at all. It wasn't attention. So I should be grateful. She has access to all these wonderful resources. I do think the mental health is a huge part. Yeah. I think sometimes I have compassion fatigue. What I need? My phone. That's how I cope. I have people to talk to when I'm feeling anxious. The reason she brought the phone was because she was talking to her boyfriend about uh, just everything. Mm -hmm. And they hide behind their phone. That doesn't help with their development. Yeah. I ratted on myself. She wants attention from guys, and she knows what she needs to do to get it. And because guys aren't. Uh, very bright. Uh, well, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Who's been affected? You mention, you know, your mom and that you feel like you've lost trust. You never mentioned yourself. No, Shannon. I failed. I That's used Shannon. and I did it again. OK, maybe and they are right. I was just beginning to like myself. Hey, Jennifer, it's Shannon from RRC. The parental engagement is super important on day one. And we tell the parents, if your child's going to be successful in our program, we need you involved. I actually took her to court, and I fought against Deanna to go get help. That's a really difficult decision to even make. Our relationship with her mom, it's been strange. 
This was a huge shame moment for even mom. Well, at times I want to say, I'm done. Yeah, I hear you're really frustrated. Hmm? What did my mom say? Um, just concerns. That's it? That's all she said? You've identified that even when you needed to talk, you didn't. I don't know if I can do it. I feel like I'm always in trouble. What do you love best about your daughter? My daughter, she's so creative, caring, and loving. A lot of fun. I love the fact that she has not given up, that she is still fighting to be sober. Yeah. The turning point for me was when I met her mother, and her face looked so tight. If I had to call the cops on her every single day, I would do it. I'll always be there for her, but as long as she's living under my roof, she'll follow my rules. Mm -hmm. What is this need that she's trying to fulfill? A big part of this is her dad's not around. Mm -hmm. Her dad hasn't been around in years. He doesn't talk to her, mm -hmm. and that's how a lot of this started. She has had boyfriends that get serious and then they leave. Mm -hmm. So she thinks everyone's going to leave her. Mom's going to be there, but mom's always going to be there. I'm trying so hard to do the right thing so I can talk to my dad again and make him happy. The ebb and flow of the father's presence and absence was a reflection on her self-worth. I could relate. I had a stepdad, and even though you have a stepdad who may just love you to pieces like mine did, you still feel as a child that there's something fundamentally wrong with you. Right. I just tried to explain to her, you know what? You have so much more love, and you don't mm -hmm. need just that male figure. Mm -hmm. All this self-esteem bullshit melted for me. You let me know what my mom says when you call her. I will let you know. Um, I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to call her back now. At this moment in time, I don't believe that we're going to be detaining her. More about how you handle it than, than the mistake itself. Um, Since this program, she has done like a 180. This is the first time in five years that I actually see this child wanting help. It's just getting herself to that point. Well, we will support you there. All right. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Mom's frustrated because she knows that you're capable. How much do you want what they want? You're how much get me crying. How much do you think all of this affects you, honey? A lot. I think you're a pretty important person to mention. Talk to me. I guess so. Thank you. It's not about giving them answers. It's not about solving their problems. It's about giving them the tools to solve it themselves. What do you see? I see a big difference in me. If I could yeah. just see the future of, like, if I didn't do the stuff that I've been doing, what my life could be right now. So today, we're going to have Deanna <clears throat> do her restorative questions. OK. Uh, what happened on Saturday morning, I went through his stuff looking for cigarettes when I saw the pill bottle of Valium. To be honest, I liked the attention from my boyfriend, and that day I was feeling very alone. I came way too far for all this, and I'm not giving up now. The group as a whole helps her. She needs to hear her peers. You're so close to being done this program. It wasn't worth it. Kids will listen to kids. This whole program is built off of feedback. It can really mess up your body. You're really pretty kids getting it and receiving it. I want you to remember how big of a leader you are. Learning how to receive it. I would say it kind of hit him a little bit. One of my closest friends' sisters did do something very similar not too long ago. Telling her what they see. You already have the idea of contacting somebody. What they think she should yeah. do differently. Take a second and think. 
five people that you know you truthfully can trust the most. If you need, like, anybody to talk to, you can call me. Every day, we'll support you. I'll leave work over something like that. Thank you. I was actually one of the people that knew. I don't really understand why I didn't bring up the harm that it can do to you. It's just not worth it. I'm sorry. You guys said some really nice stuff. And that just really made my day because I've been struggling all day. I really appreciate all of you. Can I rejoin group? Yes. I was kind of judgmental, I'm not gonna lie, but we can't judge everybody on the worst day of their life. We have to leave hope. So if we close that on them, then what do they have?